She listened to the noble's accusations and suspicions that she would never have a child. In order to get her husband's attention, she began to spend a great deal of time and energy dressing. From that moment on, Mary fell into a state of unbridled pleasure. She was no longer obsessed with having an heir. One morning, the king died. The prince was put on the throne. And Mary became the queen to whom all men bowed. Then Mary became pregnant and gave birth to a lovely little princess. After she became a mother, she was no longer obsessed with balls and gambling tables. The king had a little palace built for her. She ran around in the grass with her children. It was one of the few peaceful days in her life. The king's bad decisions had left France in debt. The country's power dwindled as its coffers emptied. Finally, the French Revolution broke out. The nobles began to flee the palace with their families. The king insisted on staying in the palace. Mary decided to stay, too. But in their naivete, they had no idea. The anger of the people reached the palace. The king had to take Mary and the children with him. The king had to take Mary and the children and flee abroad. At the end of the movie, Mary looked up at the fountain outside Versailles. Outside Versailles.